Yeah, that's an interesting one. Obviously, Rainer, I always think of as a comfort pick. Oh, yes, yeah, he's going to open that up very quickly on the pistol round. But uh, yeah, I do always think of it as a comfort pick. But when you are, you know, you're running a Jet Rainer, that is quite the uh, attacking power. Spike planted. Well, I mean, they've got the spike down. They're gonna, they're gonna run back. It's back to a two v three after Logan takes that pick, and it's just Hoppy, him to retake this site now. But, I mean, Guild, they, they have their, uh, they have their vibes there. Well. I don't think any snake bites are out there. But Yassi, he's gonna turn around and take that first pick and finish it off for them as well. Tax, you never saw fakes mm -hmm. or anything like that. They really were quite predictable. Nice opening kill onto Yassin. Yeah, Tax is doing well to hit those headshots there from that range. Just two headshots will. Take down the enemy, and now, I mean, Guild, they have to push their way all the way in. Takas, he's a monster with the uh, Ghost, taking down two now, and it's actually giving him a man advantage. Leo turns around the corner with that, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, you pointed out I say that now. <laughs> I mean, Guild, they're actually having a difficult time getting in there, and they've actually given away. I don't know, well, I mean, if, if BDS push up, they've given away a couple of weapons there. All of these players now, they're on full health. They're sitting happily back towards the back of A site, just waiting for, for Guild to push them, and Guild... I mean, they've got two players, one of them's on low health, and difficult situation now. I mean, BDS don't need to push up, why would they? Mm -hmm. The spike's right in front of them, they have control of its position, and they have the man advantage. The onus here is on Guild. Mm -hmm. They don't look like they actually want to give it up too early. You can see the way that Leo, kind of young gunner, he's ma managed to retrieve it. Ooh. 30 seconds left. The extraction mission, yeah. He's taking it around, he's... It's going to take it to a different position to what they're expecting, maybe. Uh, Although Logan has seen it now. A shot onto him will uh, do a little damage and give away the position of the spike. They know now that Leo has it in his hands. But Leo, he's good for the first headshot now. Cutting around off the spike. He's going for the second. Oh, eventually he finds the head, but it's just dragging now. Oh, and Hoppy's going to finish it out. They've been, uh, they've been burned one before. Oh, Roden, he's pushed up mid there, and he's going to take out the dragon, though. Turning around the corner, looking for one, Yassine, he's going to do a lot of damage, but he's not actually going to get the pick, and... Well, now, up two players now, BDS, and the Empress has been committed for attackers there, before the heal comes in. Oh, full health with that. And Logan, down. another pick, it's Last not looking standing. good here for Guild, as they push in with their rifles that they paid so much for, and, you know, that's going to be difficult on their economy. Safe, he's the last player alive, he's looking for this pick, but... Surrounded on all sides by BDS players and tag. I mean, they're gonna keep driving the nail into this A wall as they push around once again, using that wall, that viper wall to give themselves some space, but I mean they're really gonna have to fight for it because BDS they're holding it down once again. The fault line comes out to try and push Tackers out of position. He's still there, he's gonna on to the scene there. Oh the second God. spray down onto Bonka. Leo's eight. there with the trade and safe will take down one as well. So it's back to a 3v3 and Leo's actually going to pick up a Kuma as well. They push onto site now. They need to get that spike down before Rodan pushes through. That pick onto Leo. Leo's on such low health. But he gets around the corner. He's Superman flying around there. He's cape billowing in the wind. And, well, now it's on BDS to push this back out and take down the spike in the post plant positions. They're coming out from the old. Now comes a lockdown as well. Safe will take down another there with the sheriff and Poppy's actually just gonna have to cut. Guild just simply haven't been able to run. Uh, oh wow, look at that Hunter's Fury. That's caught out too, and he's gonna take down Packers completely. Oh, and Logan as well. It's a beautiful Hunter's Fury after the uh, recon dart and the uh, lock. Uh, sorry, the uh, fault line. Oh, but Rodan, he's there with the operator. He'll make sure that Safe isn't getting anything out with his. He's gonna push forward with the Blade Storm now. Guild are gonna have to run for the hills. I actually like the way that they're turning around, making a different decision. This is a nice change from Gil, but it could fall victim to the shock darts coming their way and the poison cloud too. The blade storm though. Oh, that catches them out from behind. Well, Rodan, he's going to have to run remaining. all the way back, but he's looking for his ace. He's got his fourth turn and run back. Onto oh Bonka, that's the ace from Rodan. So now, they're all just, well, I mean, Gil, they're playing it safely, smartly, just waiting, but... Draken is kind of uh, stuck there over towards Kitchen. The shock dart will bring him down to low HP. I mean, He's got to hold down this position. This is the first time that Guild have had that, you know, one attacker presence over in mid to try and cut off a rotation, but now they go in aggressive another for Yassin. Yeah. Oh, Draken, he's actually holding down his position too. He takes down one onto Akuma now. Just two players left on BDS, turning back around. Oh, there's Draken with his second as well. Rodan now by himself. 
I mean, with an operator, you got five players to play against. One of them has Blade Storm available and is running around the side looking for you there. Oh, Roden though, he'll finish it off and he's actually going to go for the defuse. If he sticks it, he could get it. Oh. No, doesn't know that the players are so far away and actually knows that Draken could be coming around from the back, so. Out comes Bonkart. He's got the frenzy in hand. He'll spray him down. Not enough damage, but Draken's. They're jittery. They don't know where they should be, and they're actually just pushing all the way around. They see that recon dart, and that might give them just that first Welcome inkling to that they're coming towards world. B. Out comes the Vipers to hit. Give them a little bit of positional advantage. Get themselves a spike down for free. Hoppy's going to take a lot of damage through the wall there. Roden, he's going to try and find Lee over. He was good for one, and safe takes down Akuma as well. Logan trying to push through onto site now. Sees oh, Leo. Not enough time to take the shot, though. And Guild, they have full control of this site. They're just making... All of that positional advantage. Oh, Logan can't get out of the way of the first aftershock and save. Imagine that it's going to be harder for them to push on to B and actually get a successful plan, especially if Hoppy is opening things up with kills like that. Yeah, there's a quick shot, two shots. The second one finds the head. He's going to take a little bit of damage for his troubles, but it's definitely not as bad as the life that was taken. Two ships passing in the ocean over towards A here. Safe like he got round onto site. Oh no. That'll give away his position. Tackers will finish that off. Ouch. Draken, he's going to... Look, look, the defenders. Oh, I was wondering if no they were going to move idea. out. Yeah, right Hoppy wasn't aware. Elno Sabe, not quite in time. And now they have control of B. They get that wall down. Look at the ping. Wasn't used until now. 30 seconds left. Brutal. They don't know that. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. oh, the shots aren't quite found. Draken's going to move back up. Now Akuma trying to stop the plant from happening first. Takes one hit there, but not enough to uh, stop the spike from getting planted. Tackers, he's moving in with the Empress. I don't know, he's there. One pick, two picks. He's got three now, and it's just Leo. Oh, he does have a good position to stop that defuse from happening. He knows this. He's waiting. Oh, but Tackers, he's good for the foot. And it's pushed all the way up with that operator. He's taken a, an aggressive position, to say the least. And she has so many angles to check now that it's kind of hiding him back. Oh, but he'll take that first pick onto your scene there. Not going to get in. Guild now, one player down, and they really have to think a little bit more about how they make this attack happen. They're going to back up, that shot guard is just going to push safe well away, but Draken, he's, uh, he's keeping this, uh, this, this position down. He's just going to try and keep the BDS players from coming in from the back now, and as the rest of the guild players they get that round towards spawn. And I don't know if they want to make a rotation happen. Oh, but Rodan, he finds his second onto Draken there now. Guild, they're stuck in a corner and they have to, uh, they have to make something happen. Out comes the Owl drone from Leo. And then try and just find out exactly where Rogan is sitting. And that fault line, that's gonna run up two players. Out comes the blind, and, oh, uh, that's an easy pick on Takasai, like, completely free, but Rogan, he's there with the Overwatch, playing this guard, looking for his fourth, not quite gonna find it. Leo, he's coming through, he's got two picks now, and he's just gonna try and mount. Now they'll push through. It's just this 1v2 situation, he's gonna back out. Off the back of that snake bite there. It's not going to do too much damage, just one onto the armor. He's got a nice post plant position. He's got his Hunter's Fury available as well as two shock darts. That alone uh, is going to make things difficult if Rodan, he's going round that doesn't require that stuff. Right. It just seems like without that, Rodan and Takas are going massive. They'll take two picks down immediately now and guild. Looking at a two man disadvantage, three man now, Takas has found his third, the second, sorry, Rodan. Oh, fin well, I mean, what, what, Takas and Rodan. I thought this was going to happen when we saw the jet coming out with. Oh my god, he's actually taken the first pick onto his hobby already. I didn't even see that one, but it's partly due to that aggression that, you know, the uh, breach and the jet bring together. Now, Guild, I mean, they've got a position behind the BDS players. BDS now have to push into a. It's rare that you look at a position where you where you don't really want to fall too far. Akuma takes down the alarm bot for Bunkar. Different trade, one life for another there, and who can say which lives matter the most? Sometimes robots. I mean, they take the fall for us. Well, look, there's no BDS. <laughs> well, there, there are no defenders up by heaven or or behind towards defender spawn, so you're not really being flanked at this point. It is just an hour and out fight. Yeah. Yeah. Really, the sides have just been switched now. It's just Logan backed into a corner of the shock dart. That'll finish him off. It's an interesting, uh, you know, <laughs> a retake from the attacker side. Very, very good. Very nice. No. Committing those to get them well out of the way. But Draken's already pushed up on A. Because actually, 
un unknowingly, BDS have been pushed back into their own corner at this point, and they are backed into a corner. Hoppy, he's going to fight his way out onto Leo here. They're trying to make an entry happen onto B as they push through mid as well. Roden, he's come through on mid. The flash will come out. He'll get the spray blind onto your scene there, but Bonkar and safe. They're going big with those Bulldogs, taking down those picks. The uh, spike will get planted on B now. But oh, Drake, and he's coming in from behind. They don't know. Hoppy, he gets taken down. A headshot onto Akuma as well. He finds oh Logan, God. and the flank not coming out completely. Akuma, he's on 15 HP though, and he's completely stunned up. He's behind yellow box. Oh, almost getting hit by that. Oh, he's done about to it down to 8 HP now, and save. He'll finish that. And try and keep well away the BDS players. But BDS, they're not scared. They push straight in. Roden sat on top of box here, and nobody's actually seen him, but he's break, and he's just going to spray it down, and there you go, coming around the corner. For the aftershock, that's going to do a lot of damage, and I mean, Tax is taking down the trade onto Draken now, but here comes a rolling thunder. Bonkar, he's going to look for his first pick here. No, BDS, they're, they're, uh, they've been pushed all the way back now, but they, uh, have to be aware of this flank happening. They know they don't have any Bye. flank watching. Oh, oh, agents. Well, you see, and he'll take the first there. And now, I mean, BDS know they're between quite literally a rock and a hard place here, or well, uh, I don't know, a rock, uh, uh, you're seen in a hard place. Oh, Hoppy, he'll fight his way out though. First pick onto them, and trade comes out for Roden. Bonkar, I'll take down that, but. Logan's good for the trade, Keeping the uh, human meat shield, but oh no, Leo, he'll stop the Viper's pit. Now, BDS is stuck in the corner, here comes the Hunter's Fury, trying to take down Logan, no, not going to find it, and Takas, he's going to fight his way back onto site, it's just Leo left now. He could still win this, he's got full HP. Knows the plant is happening, but it's going to be happening on the other side of site, they know he's coming from that side. Leo doesn't have really any information here, and because the positions of all these players have changed so much, he doesn't know if he's potentially getting flanked. He's also got to find where the spike has been planted, and of course, see where Takas is right now. Direct line of sight onto it. Standing ahead. Right. Well, the recon bolt battle. Try and find him as well. They know he's around that corner now. Nope, the firing squad. That'll give him a little bit of economy, but... Still a difficult situation. Up comes Yassine. Oh, Rodan, sorry. He'll be taken down by Yassine. Trade comes up. Tagus, but completely blind and having to run away. Oh, Trade's coming out once again. I'm... Oh, I don't know exactly what happened there. I mean, Tagus got away, so <laughs> good for him. They're going to head over towards A? B? Oh, looks like A. Actually, nope, there we go. Backing up into B. Now, I mean, Guild, they're watching this position, so... We should be expecting something coming, but no. And grouping up together, Draken, he's going to be the first to make contact with the BDS players. Going back around, and Akuma's watching guard of this. Sees the barrel of one gun, he'll take the headshot onto Akuma. Takis is good for the trade, it's back to a 2v2, but Safe is turning around the corner, and he's massive with that first headshot. Now it's just Takis by himself holding off the two guild players. The shots come out, he doesn't know exactly where they're from. He's down to ADHP. Oh! It's the kill onto safe there, a lovely headshot, and now it's just Leo. Leo is planting over here from mid. Okay, no, Empress committed from Takas to try and close out this round. They don't know that Leo's coming from the other side though. Oh, they do! Oh! Takas, he's massive with the- It's a little damage onto Takas, it's gonna take away a little bit of armor. Got one. one headshot with the Phantom will do, but it doesn't matter. Safe will take down one pick. Logan is good for the trade just about. He'll take down another onto Bonkai here, and Rodan's defending that position up on box. Next one now. You're seeing he's coming through with the Blade Storm. Wow, that's a massive headshot. I'm looking for the second, but the knives, they just don't quite connect on to. Let's be a little more careful about pushing through. Look away. Be much less careful. Oh, I, see I mean, he just gets it straight away again, so it's a nice second time. But look at where where they also have their Viper. They're going to cut off any rotation if oh. Gil tried to do them. Yeah, and absolutely, he's already pushed up. And yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to go for a rotation. They are coming fully to this. A Akuma will take down Yasin in the end after Yasin's killing spree onto the opposition jet. Now Leo holding down the position, but Logan. He'll grab his team a little bit more. Pushing power. Out comes a Hunter's Fury. After the lockdown, that'll break that. Takas, he gets his next pick onto Bonkar now, and the wall comes out. Dragon, no! With the knife out as he turns around the... That whether they'll get that or not, I suppose we'll have to see. And two Vandals, other than that, two Vandals, a bunch of light armor, but Draken doesn't even have... Going back and forth, and they know the guild. Oh, difficult in this one, Rodan. He's got that first opening pick onto A. Getting revenge on Yassine for the uh, war crimes he committed earlier now. And Leo, he has to hold it down with a guardian. Killing somebody twice, huh? <laughs> 
Well, the Rolling Thunder, that'll come out and slow down BDS, but it's not enough to uh, stop them from pushing all the way through. They know they have that firepower and they come around the flash from Guild. It's not going to give them enough position. So Akuma, he comes around on the site. He's not going to find the first pick. No, Leo and, Leo and Drake are massive with those. The trades come out. Drake and though, he's going massive. Logan. He's down one more. It's a 1v2, but Guild, they're still hanging on. Just by the skin of their teeth. He won't find the first pick. Changes of the last patch now of the 3.0 patch, so... I mean, they've already got the spike down. Feels real. Oh, wait, no, they haven't. Sorry. Got blocked out by the uh, shock dart. Oh, we might actually finish off this kill. Oh, no. Right down, no okay. spike is going down today. Rodan will finish that one off. He's on the Sova this time, and he is uh, taking that first pick. Now, Yassin's going to get himself in a nicer position. Safe, trying to keep him safe. Rodan with the second, though. But the spike is down. The saving grace there for Gil. I mean, the three finished. against four in this round. Oh, my God, Logan. The immediate headshot. How can you even see the head behind that crosshair? Going around the corner, Leo! <laughs> that spray down. It's a 2v1 now, and it's just Logan under heaven. See if he can fight his way out with that. I think it's going to play time, and there's Drake. And to finish on this one, uh, the difficult time getting picks in those opening rounds, which means... Oh, but Akuma, he's good for the spray down. You see him. We'll get the trade eventually, but now they have the man disadvantage. And Hoppy's holding down the C site, but all angles he has to protect, and now Guild will push straight in. Hoppy will take down one onto Bonkar. Bonkar with the one shock dart onto remaining. Hoppy for the trade. Now it's just Draken. As Logan cleans up your scene and backs all the way out of sight. Draken's gonna get himself eight Phantom here and a headshot onto Logan. Plant situations, and as soon as the spike's been planted, BDS take their cue to move over. Yeah, but... I mean, letting Draken get the plant here has actually given him a little bit of an advantage in this round. One enemy massively, remains. but... Oh, he gets our first pick, and now it's down to a 1v1. He has a spike planted for him. And it's all up to the last player to try and take that. He fakes the uh, teleport over into the smoke. So Logan has to be very careful about where he's watching, but... Ah, uh, he won't be fooled by that one. He'll do for guild. They're going to be able to get the spike down, but... Oh, man, disadvantage. Didn't really have too much... Of an advantage coming into this one now, and uh, BDS they can they can go for some flank retakes coming from all angles. Now Roden he's going to look for the first pick, Just looking through trying to find anybody out of position. Some shots will spray through that wall onto his ankles there. And the Guild they have these post plant positions. They're feeling pretty safe on this one as the BDS players they uh, run in over towards that. Oh no, Roden finds out the first exactly Logan with the second safe is good onto Takus now, but. They're all there. Finds out all the BDS players safe with another one and a spray down onto Akuma. But Logan's there with the third to finish it out, just about. Yeah, I mean, everybody uh, on the side over the other. Maybe BDS are a bit more equipped to play long uh, distance. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Guild have done a very good job taking picks down even when BDS have been winning. And Drake, and he's going to keep that trend up. He's taken down two picks already with that teleport up into heaven. Akuma will finish him off in the end. Cut out the blood flow now, but... Well, Hobby, he's going to have to hold down the site by himself. The Cosmic Divide comes out safe, just pushes through it, gets that first pick there. And now it's a 4v2. They get this spike down. Akuma, he's trying to look for the first pick. Leo's not looking there, so... A free opening pick there. And now... Guild, I mean, they can't really get nice post-plant positions here, and... I mean, BDS have trapped them in there with that something to fight coming around the corner. Attackers will find that first pick, try and get the res, but... Uh, no, I think it's been timed out at this point. Oh, he's looking for it again, but you're seeing he's going to try and keep him away now. There we go, there's the res. Logan is back in back in business. Two players left on the guild side. BDS has been chipping away at them, but you're seeing he turns around the corner looking for that first one. The showstopper comes out. It's going to find one, and it's just a 1v1 now as... Out comes the Hunter's Fury to keep away Taggers from the spike. That's going to finish out the round just about. Guild will take that one. It's free too. Yeah, BDS. Still buying up into this one. Oh, the shock dart. Ooh, not quite here. I thought I did hit him, but oh, he turns around the corner of the spray oh, down oh, after the down <laughs> flash. Brilliant. Two picks. That'll open it out. And actually, that's a spike down as well over towards Suez. And it's in an advanced position. So they're going to need to completely retake all of that. Uh, to regain it now. But the smoke stop them. Hoppy takes a few hits. The hot hands comes out to keep them away from the spike. See if he's going for a flank and if he turns around this corner he might find Akuma. Akuma's not waiting for this one. No, nope, he's looking. Safe. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, Takas in the end will be the one to take that pick down. Sage is a duelist, so now Guild. Oh, two players left. A difficult situation. 30 seconds Well, left. they've managed to retrieve the spike after the hot hands dissipated. And it's important that BDS don't move too far from A here. I was worried they might do that just because they were potentially expecting a wide rotate. But 
No, I mean, this is definitely going to telegraph that they're moving into A. Well, yeah. But got two players left. There's only so much you can do safely at this point. Oh no, that's a brilliant recon duck. He'll find out Drake and stop him getting the plan down. Logan will finish it out, and it's a flawless round in return for BDS. A once again, and they're actually going to clear it all the way out. BDS playing for a retake strat. And grenade to try and push anybody out of that position over towards tunnel there. And the shock dart is going to hit. And now, Roden looking for his first pick over towards heaven now. He's done it so many times before. But the lockdown, they'll keep him well away from there. The sexual to get them all out of that position now. Oh, oh. Bonk, I'll get away. No. Yeah, no, he did. He got away. The two players have been detained. And it means that Roden can now actually all the way push up. The wall goes down and nobody's ready for that. They can't spray it all the way down. Draken will take down Hoppies. Run it back. Safe coming in onto Hoppy now. They only get half down on that. Safe, he's coming in all the way from the flank. He's actually got two picks. Akuma there with the trades now, but it's a 3v2 and they haven't completely defused the spike, but they can just stick this one and then here over towards Garage so that the rest of the BDS team can push up over towards mid. Drake and he's holding down that angle though. He takes two headshots oh looking for his third. Takas is good for the trade eventually, but it's 4v3 now. Spray through the wall. Isn't going to find anybody in your scene. He'll go back onto that one. That's why the Phantom. Akuma's going to get away well. It's a fault line to get them on site. No, Rodin's going to go big with the first pick. Onto your scene there. They're going to get the spike down, killed, but not without casualties now. Recon Dark comes out. That's actually going to find out where these BDS players are. Oh, no, no. Never mind. They were in the smoke. I didn't quite see that. But, I mean, Gil, they have a pretty nice position, but it's a difficult retake here from BDS. Out comes the curveball. Oh, they're all blinded, though. They have to make this push happen. The Cosmic Divide comes out to give them a little bit of position. Oh no, the Teleport Akuma's just gonna spray it down, but Leo's good for two trades now. He's turned back around the corner, finds a third. Hoppy onto Leo, now safe. He'll spray oh down the last player's sixing strat here, and actually it's completely free, so they're gonna get the spike down completely for free, actually. Yeah, and they can get out in time as well. The Sexual's being used to get your scene well out of there. Now, the Hunter's Fury comes out as well here. It's actually gonna find couple hits. Nope. Safe. He's going to get well away. Bonkar is spraying down Akuma. Akuma's on the way to be the running back from Hoppy. He's going to push through and get the spray down onto Bonkar. Now trying to use that curveball to get around the corner. Takas in the meantime. He's got round onto site. Oh. Now comes. Oh. The showstopper. He finds the little gap and he's actually going to get that pick. Now Roden takes the trade onto Yasin there. It's a 2v2 again. Oh, but this is a difficult situation for BDS. The flame is ticking down. Safe takes that first pick. It's just Roden now trying to put out shot darts. There's not enough time to get the spike defused. Drake and he's just holding down this position. Roden, he's trying to spray it down. Gets one. No, no time. Ouch. Fault line. He's going to try and give Guild a way back into this one, but. Well, BDS, they've cut their losses. They're backing up. Leo takes one pick onto Roden, but Logan's there for the trade. They're actually heading towards C now, but it's a great paranoia. No way of getting the pick though, Drake, and he's going to be the first to hold this one down. Akuma takes a headshot, but you see, he's good for the trade. Back to a 3v3. Spike HP planted. on the side of Gil, but the spike has been planted for BDS, and it's uh, going to be the retake position here for Gil. No one's pushed towards C long. Looking to come in through Link and Defender Spawn, which is actually where all three of them are coming from. Yeah, no, safe. He takes that first pick and, oh no, stuck on site by himself. Tack is there. And it's all down to Logan. Finish it all out. Three headshots could actually finish this one off, but uh, the spike has been planted in a position where Guild can just safely get that one around the corner. And Logan will get one pick, but did get the, uh, he did get that. Orb now. Oh no, the spray onto your scene. It doesn't quite find the kill, and he's actually going to get away with his life now. Bunker, he's holding down. Sue is here. Just waiting for the push. Nope. The Algeron comes out. He hears that. He's going to get well away from there. Roden scouting out the site, but uh, I don't see anybody there. Oh no, Takas will find Bonkar eventually. A little bit of damage done out, but Guild, they're going to have to retake this one four or three v four. Oh, you see? Nope. Eight HP. Oh. Takas just chilling, man. Yeah. He's ready. Spike I mean, he'll know that someone's right round here, but Yasin is just going to wait. Be chill. Spike's gone down. You can see the other two members of the are trying to rotate down towards A long. Oh, there it is. I was going to say two bros chilling over towards C. Yeah, the they're, not on the they're all backing up, but 
They're going to still push over towards A. The hot hands to try and push anybody out of that position, but nobody's there. Tackers finds a headshot anyway. You're seeing with the spray down, doesn't find really any damage whatsoever. Nothing Joke's uh, over. too big. The running back is going to be taken down immediately by Leo, but Logan is there for the trade. It's five players still left on the side of BBS to come back into this with Fire Akuma coming around straight with the headshot. Now it's two players on the side of Guild and ouch. That it? Then they're almost guaranteed. Standing ahead. You should to lose the advantage. Ooh, the lockdown over on to C there is an interesting one. C and B actually at the same time, but I mean, they must know that they're low on economy now. Bonkai, he's staying there. No, Broden will take the headshot down, and now they get onto site. And then, I mean, Spike planted. No, 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 Leo. Oh, Draken, he's going to take down the first pick now. Leo and Draken both have weapons. They can think about retaking this one if they clear out all of the positions. But I think, well, you can see the pings on the mini map there. BDS know exactly where the guild players are, and they're going to go for the kill. Zakuma going for the first one, looking for that headshot. Oh no, Draken won't finish it off. The trade is there from safe in the end, but I think uh, guild probably want to save these weapons at this point. There's no way they're going to be able to fight all the way through. No, turning around the corner into spawn. Rodan's going to get taken down with that knife out. Yeah, but they have uh, safe positions over towards the uh, seaside, so there's no way guild are getting there in time to get the defuse. I don't think they need to aggress any more than they have. They got mm. that one exit frag, which was quite nice. No charges left. <sighs> Maybe looking for one last one. Was Admit that. Heal from the sage. Oh, don't run. No, Draken's going to find that one onto Hobby. He's repositioned himself over towards a long. Taking another pick and now Guild, without even taking a single shot onto themselves, have got two-player advantage and BDS counting their eggs are going to he head towards B. Kind of have to reconsider here because C nor A are really that viable. The slow orb is going to push back Guild from doing much about this defense right now, which could give BDS the time to plant, but they know that there is still incoming fire and pressure from all sides. 30 still seconds five players left. alive. They have opted towards B though, probably because of the oh, operator, but if they push A. straight out, they're going to be taken out, and they did need to push that angle so that they could clear the corner and get the plant yeah. down, but they've taken a casualty for it. They will get the plant down in the end, Spike which is, planted. I think, going to give them enough money to buy up into the next round, no matter what happens at this point. I mean, Gilda pushing in. Logan takes one pick to hold down the spike position the safe is already on site he's gonna take down no he's not gonna take down logan you see with that aftershock holding it down now bds there position well safe is not gonna be caught out he's got well away from death so many times now oh bonkar is massive with the hunter's fury takes down takas out comes the fault line and keep wait players on long and actually finds one pick with drake in there safe he'll take down another drake and another with the operator now it's just logan on 10 hp and he's being held down from every position bonkar is looking into the ct Oh, the headshot from Logan, the third. No, that, no matter what happens in this one, Guild can play up fully next round. Oh, Hoppy is going to take the first pick onto Yassine, but Yassine from the grave will finish that one off. It's almost perfect a trade. Kill, you know, the uh, death. Or, uh, no, it's it's, uh, it's a thing from you will not kill that other life. FPS game. Oh, no, Leo turns around the corner onto Akuma. Guild, they're oh, retaking this. Now comes a lockdown. That's actually going to put Bonkar in a really difficult position. The hot hands as well means he can't get away from there. If he can't find a pick in the next six seconds, then he's going to be completely ruined by this lockdown. But he actually just... Nobody oh, checks a corner and Poppy's going to be taken down. It's down to a 2v2 now and two ults are available for Guild. Not really ones that are going to give them much of an advantage. And if they can't... They can't make use of one of them. Out comes the... Ooh, from the shadows. It's going to try and give them information. He heads back towards... Oh, no. Wow, it's faked out the rest of the BDS players. Now, Guild, they have to make something happen soon, though. Oh, no, a lot of damage onto Draken, and Takas will finish it out. It's just down to safe. Safe with the first headshot, and the spray down onto Takas. He takes it back to match point. Absolutely massive safe. Off towards Seelong. He's actually got a lovely position here. Akuma, he's not ready for it. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Now they're down a player in this round. That's... Ow, not a good opening pick for this one. They're going to push over towards C and try and... Get back some of that firepower that they had. Oh, safe. He's not good for the first shot. So, Takas and Hobby, they're going to take down opening picks here now. You see, he's trying to spray down that wall. Well, he's trying to spray down the player behind the wall, but he gets the wall instead. Now they get the spike down, BDS. Regain the advantage in this round. But if anybody can retake this, it's these three guild players. They're going to push all the way through now. I mean, but, yeah. you've seen is so limited here because of where the turrets placed. You had to get rid of it. 
Yeah. And you can see where the rest of BDS is positioned, just in case of that. But they're gonna push in. A lot of damage onto Hoppy, but you see, he's gonna be taken down in the end. Leo there with a headshot onto Hoppy. Now three players over towards Long, and they can just play very safe here. Stop the diffuse coming through. The first one down onto. Valve on the side of BDS right now is quite a lot. Broden, the only one not sitting on an alt. I don't think that will matter so much. However, Guild also have their fair share. Four mm. and four. So I suspect that this round is... ended on the side of BDS for, well, pretty much nothing at this point. And the flank is actually coming through from Drake in there, you can see. He might actually come up massive with this one if nobody's checking for that flank. But I think BDS are ready for this one in the end. They're going to turn around the corner. No, 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 no. Oh, the spray down from Drake. And it's going to take two headshots. And he's going to take a single shot for it. Now they also have... That all available. Now Bonker is using his Hunter's Fury blind because he doesn't really need anything to expend that one. And also out comes from the shadows from Bonker. 30 seconds. Not from Bonker, sorry. Oh, Hoppy, he takes a pick onto safe there. Well, that gives them control of C, but again, they have a man disadvantage and there are ults available. Out comes to run it back and that's going to try and keep them away, but the Rolling Thunder, that comes out and pushes Hoppy well back. The Showstopper comes out and it's going to take down the run it back and looking for the second pick, but Logan will take that one down. Leo onto the trade there. Bonkart takes down Hoppy and it's a 1v3 here. Akuma, he's going to have to go massive onto this one. Doesn't take the first pick. Leo takes it out. Gil, win that map 30. Take this one. Three players are going to come in over towards uh, uh, be made here, be tunnels. One player over towards CT, so a little bit of a pincer maneuver, but how much of a pincer can you really do when the players are all the way over towards Boathouse? It's difficult. There's no quick entry onto site. They both have to go through these positions. The recon dart is going to find out Takasa. there. There's one is towards the uh, main, at the very least now. Bonkar, he's holding down Catwalk there. No, 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 no. Nobody's going to be found out by that. They get back away. Akuma with two headshots immediately. There's only two players left. Safe and Bonkar trying to hold it down. It's just Bonkar now. He's on seven HP. He's going to have to hold down the last player here. It's, it's ringing around the Rosie. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that. Not the fake defuse coming out from Logan. But oh, there comes a shot in the end. And I think he just about gets that. Close. To rotate over and be able to deal with A. With manpower, if nothing else. Field the ball up into this round now, and they're going to head back towards A once again. Drake, and he's running around into the smoke. He does get one pick. That's good enough. Akuma, he's going to take down the trade, but Leo is there for the second, and he's going to take down Tax as well. It's just Rodent up in rafters along with his teammate. But, I mean, they only have ghosts. And... Spike planted. Well, in the end, once again, it's that it's that play style of take down as many weapons as possible. But all the weapons on the on the other side of this door. Rodan's going to try and break it down, but now comes that uh, <laughs> the wolf is going to do a lot of concussion to him, and he's going to stay back around there. And got now a spectre on that side, so the recon dart tries to find out one. And he's going to try and pick up a weapon, but he can't do it without getting through the smoke. It's a lovely place smoke to stop him from getting there. Rodan, who has shown his preference for playing long range. Oh well, now. Well, killed, yeah, obviously didn't take too many casualties, so they'll get through onto this one with the full bike. Draken takes down Takas immediately over towards mid there. That's a lot of damage for Broden. He's there for the trade. Leo takes down Akuma in the meantime, and, and Gilda are kind of trying to take this hold of the round now. Oh my god, safe. He sprays down Broden just before he turns around the corner. Hoppy's there to take down Yassine, but he's completely kept out of them by everybody now. Outlawed from the rest of the... Uh... Well, well now it's Logan holding down the site. Safe will take that one down, and they have full control of that. Just one player left on guild to, uh, well, not really do much. going to run back over towards A and save that weapon. Is going to flash him well out of there, and he's going to stay away. Nope, he's not staying away at all. Oh, Draken. Oh, no. From the side. He takes down the temple there. Logan takes a lot of damage and let's take down Leo, but Safe is there for the trade eventually. Now. Oh, Rodan's taken down immediately as well. Oh, One Hoppy with the remaining. three down through two and takes down the third as well. But you're relying on your sky for your flashes in this composition that they have brought. And so far... Bike down quickly. Make sure nobody's sitting over there in Boathouse, but Rodan has taken down Draken on the way through. Now the Hunter's Fury as well from Rodan. It's going to catch out one. Not going to quite find the kill. The door's been closed as well. Now. Although the... Uh, I think you didn't quite see it there. But the, uh, the aftershock there did do a little damage to your scene before he got out of the way of that. Seekers are going to find a couple players, but I mean, they're holding on to this as quickly as they can here. Yassine does take down Hoppy now, and all the players left are in CT. Rodan takes down one, but Bonkar's there for the trade. Akuma's there for the trade in turn. Now three players left on the side of BDS. They need to retake this quickly, though. The lockdown comes out to try and push away the guild players, but they're all the way through now. Oh, they've got control of sight in here now, and it's just Leo. He's coming in from behind, though. They don't know he's there. Takas is going to be taken down now. It's two players left on the side of BDS, but Logan is good. Nobody's peeking him at this point. They do know that he's 
Somebody out there with that weapon and Akuma, he's being pushed down here. Oh, they're all flashed! And Akuma, he's gonna take down one and two before Bonkar can get the trade, but he gets another on the Harpy now and it's even back up to five. Odin takes down Bonkar, Leo with the trade, Rodan with the trade in turn, it's just Draken on the site with the Spectre. Again, the uh, Cluedo reference at this point. Now, there's two players left. One on very low HP, one on about half. I don't know if we can spray this one down. No, Takas is good for the headshot in the end. And the Draken as well. Can take a little shot there. The From the Shadows is going to be used into Boathouse. Gives a little bit of information as to where the players on BDS are. But Leo will take down Akuma over there mid again. Hoppy, though, he's coming out massive with these spray downs. He takes down two there. One card does get onto site, get the spike down after taking down Rodan. That's all up. For the last two players on the BDS side to retake this one. No one advantage. There's a nice kill from Drake and straight on to Takas. They only have one more to worry about. It's Hoppy. He's right in the middle of the site. <laughs> Sat in hut here. Looking for a pick. He's going to have to clear out pretty much every angle before he goes through here. And he knows that Draken is holding another angle, but he didn't know that Leo had come through to back. Comes the Hunter's Fury, and that's going to try and keep them well out of there, but. Not gonna find anybody quite yet. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the Nano Swarm, and Leo will take it down at the end because he can't move anywhere. Now Logan is holding down CT by himself. Guild have already got onto site now. Takas is over in market, looking for the first pick, but nobody's gonna be found. The spike goes down now. Guild holding down the B site here, and they actually have nice positions too. They haven't taken any damage whatsoever at this point, so Drake can hold down B main. One car with him. The rest of the players over towards Boathouse, holding down those two angles now. And Make his way in. Draken will take down Hoppy. Leo on to Takas. Akuma pushing through. He's taking a lot of damage through the wall there. Only on 17 HP. And Bonkar has the flank on him. There we go. He turns around the corner, jumping around with the knife out to try and get away from the guild players. But Bonkar is in a good position to take that one down. And now, caution. Specked. That was a massive fault there. It actually did a lot of damage. Takas isn't going to push through. Oh no, he misses the first shot. And safe is there for the trade now. And oh, Leo's used. Leo gets through and gets the first pick after that teleport there, and he's going to get a second onto Hoppy as well. It's given them full control of sight. BDS immediately shot, shot out of this round. They're going to try and shock dart anything they can on Electric. It's actually going to do a lot of damage. Area. He stops the plant on that one. He doesn't go for the second one. Uh, expecting that second shock dart to come through, but Ronan's going to take a lot of damage through the wall now. Looking for the first pick. He does find the first one onto Leo there, and he's going to... Well, he has not much HP, so he's going to have to back out a little bit here, but... I mean, they've got their... Grip back into the round at the very least. They can retake this one if they play it very yeah, well at this point. But Drake, and there he is. He'll finish off Rodan, and it's just Logan now coming around. Now comes the Trailblazer. He's gonna find out exactly where he is, and now comes just see. Flash around the corner. Logan takes one down, but safe as ever. They could find themselves getting flanked here as the turret down from tiles. Both players blind over on B. Takas will eventually finish it off, but that's a lot of damage done, and you've seen he's in hut. He'll do so much damage. He takes down one, but he has to reload. Logan will finish it off. He's on low HP, though. Two players left on the guild side. Leo will take down Takas now. They're going to try and retake this. Akuma's good for the headshot, so safe takes down uh, that, that trade now, and it's just Logan on such low HP with no utility to speak of, and, well, safe. I mean, Logan's looking the wrong way. Lee. Otherwise, you're giving away that operator essentially to the BDS side. No, it doesn't matter. He'll take the first pick onto Takas, and he's overwatching this A site here. Flash comes through, but he uses the dash to get well away. He doesn't take a single point of damage. It gives him control of the site, but again, Guild, they want to play this retake. It's a good strat here on Ascent, so they're just going to group back up. Draken's found another pick onto Logan here. Leo fights Rodan as well here. Draken, he's spraying more down, but he'll get taken down in the end, but the Operator is going to bring it out. And yeah, you got you got to, you know... Assert your dominance one way or another, even if you're winning in the game. Oh, there we go. That attack has asserts its dominance over Leo, finding that headshot immediately. That's a nice first opening pick here. You've seen he's pushed all the way up in mid, and he's... That first one, yep. Yeah. Push in through the main, the owl drone, going in to try and provide some intel. As these three defenders stack up on Fruit Market. There's the first from Draken. And he's just so warmed up at this point. He's not missing shots. I think I've only seen him miss one shot in the last three rounds at this point. And it was against two players who were saving. Well, not saving, but looking for exit frags over the they long. But Seekers are going to be used from Guild here. They're not quite sure that they can get fully into this round without them. So they go use that. The Blade Storm has also been used for Draken. And he's going to not quite use them to full effect. What's happened? BDS have just sprayed down the Guild side. It's just you've seen here. He'll take the headshot onto Akuma. But there's one player left on the BDS side. And he'll... He's got their claws. 
firmly grasped into this game at this point. They just need to pull down on it. Oh, Draken looking for the lineup for Takas. He'll take him down with the headshot safe, though. He's holding down Garden. He'll get the trade onto Takas. There's just one more on Hoppy, and he'll get that second Back headshot, down, too. Mid. Now, Guild, they're holding down A at this point, and BDS, they've uh, had a difficult time getting in through short, so they're going to have to come in through long. But Leo, he's there with two headshots. He's looking for the third one, but safe is there to finish it off. So... Yeah. It's it's hard. Plus, they're you know they're going for the force. They've got what 750 credits remaining after this. So anybody out comes for rolling thunder from BDS. Try and push back the kill players. Safe is oh. massive with the spray down though. Takes down Akuma and Rodan both with headshots. He's found his third. Looking for his fourth, but Logan, he'll shut it down in the end. But it's now just Logan. A 1v3 to try and finish out this game. He puts down the lockdown to try and keep them well away. But it's not going to happen. Draken will finish 